everybody. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is a quick tutorial on how to um, switch it so you take, uh, basically how to move a game to a new hard drive. Say you don't want to go through the process of installing everything all over again, and nobody can blame you for that because it can be really time consuming, right? Alright, so what we're looking at here, this is where I have it now, which is Local Disk Program x86 Steam, Steam Apps Common. That's, that's the normal file path. So I'm going to move it from my C drive to my H drive, okay, which is uh, my other backup here. Uh, so two terabytes, uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps Common. Alright, so what I want to do is, let's just say Fortress Craft. Let's just say that, right? Fortress Craft. We're going to move this one. I'm going to cut this right out of here. And I'm going to paste it right here. Paste. Boop. So it's going to move the 3.3 gigabytes of data. Fun times. Uh, so now what happens at this point is that Steam recognizes that it's in the C drive. So if I go to actually play the game Fortress Craft, it's going to go it's going to go to reinstall everything again. That's not what we want. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you. So it's, it's, it's 3.3 gigabytes. I, I thought it was a smaller one, but it's actually fairly large. What do you know about that? <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. All right, so it's going to be moving over here. Moving, moving, moving. Yes. All right, it's moved. Yes. It's completely moved. It no longer exists on the C drive. It's only on the H drive. Now the problem is, when I go to Steam, right? I'm gonna pick. I have a lot of games, I know, and we're looking for Fortress Craft, which is that one right here. So when I go to play this, it's gonna go, "Hey, failed to start game. There's a missing executable." So what we got to do is we go to delete local content. I know, scary, it's scary, but this is what we're going to do. Yes, we're going to delete the local files, and it shouldn't take very long because there isn't any. All right, so when I go to install, I'm going to pick H Steam Library, which is actually the location that it currently is. So we're going to say, yes, next. Oh, discovering existing files for Fortress Craft Evolve. So that's how, how it recognizes that the game already is there, so it doesn't need to install it. Um, it just needs to recognize that the game is already still there. Um, so we're going to just let that do its thing. Copyright claim as this song goes. Wait, no, that's, that's, that's not right. All right, this unfortunately takes a little bit. Mm, it's got to recognize it, but at least you don't have to download it again. Say if you have a very large game, uh, this will save you a shit ton of time and bandwidth. Just doing it this way. If you just want to move it, that's the best way to go about it. <clears throat> yeah, come on. Come on, you're almost there. Almost there. It's installing, but what it's doing is discovering existing files for Fortress Craft Evolved. And the important thing is it definitely has to be in this order. So, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. Um, I'd recommend you just install a very small game, something like Unturned or something like that, and that will give you the proper root uh, folder structure for it to recognize that that's where it's supposed to be. You couldn't just drop it in there. Um, though I suppose, theoretically, you could do Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common as folders and folders, and it'll automatically recognize it, but that's only theory. All allocating disk space. It's already, it's already there! Game cache. So once this is done, which it's almost done, there we go! Finish! Okay. Now I can just play. See? Oh, that's... I don't even use that resolution anymore. Anyway, so that's uh, my quick tutorial on how to move a Steam game from one hard drive to another hard drive. And like I say, in order to get the proper root structure, you might be able to just type it in and make folders and folders that match this structure. Um, so Steam Library, um, caps count, Steam Apps common, and it should just recognize it um, theoretically. Or just install a really small game, something like Unturned is really small, and it'll give you the proper root structure, and then you don't have to go through all that trouble to do that. So hopefully that helps you. 
um, know how to do that. Pretty simple t tutorial. And uh, catch you around. Bye.